In the deep corners of Pataan province in 1950, a fierce battle was underway. A battle that is seen, but one that brought widespread suffering and death to the people of the Philippines. This is the story of an individual who served to find a solution in the midst of this darkness. Before we delve in into the heroism of the person in this story, let's first understand the illness that compelled him to take action. During the 1950s, one of the most severe threats to the health of the Filipinos existed. It's a disease known as Berberi. This disease was also the second leading cause of death in the country during that time. But what is a Berberi? It's a severe ailment caused by a deficiency of vitamin B1 or thiamine in the body. It results in unusual symptoms like fatigue, loss of strength, weight loss, muscle pain, and heart problems. It's a threat that is widespread in many parts of the world, including the Philippines. Now, let's explore the story of a person who enlightened us about the importance of proper nutrition. Dr. Juan Salcedo Jr. was born on September 23, 1904 in Pasay City, and he was not just a doctor, but also a scholar, scientist, teacher, biochemist, and nutritionist. In 1950, Dr. Salcedo was called to serve as the secretary of the Department of Health under the former President Alpincio Carino. Later, he became the head of the National Science Development Board, now known as the Department of Science and Technology. But most importantly, a significant part of his public service happened in the 1950s. He conducted a historic study in Bataan Province, Philippines, with the aim of finding a solution to the very, very problem. But how was the study conducted? Based from the research paper that they published, 12,384 persons were taken at a random out of a total estimated population of 92,162 and they were individually examined. 245 showed frank beriberi, 443 showed suggestive beriberi, and 892 showed doubtful beriberi and a total of 1,580 cases with one or more indicative symptoms. On average, about 12.76% of the population was more or less affected by the disease. These findings were consistent with the known mortality rate of the beriberi from both Pataan and in the Philippines as a whole. They were gathered and divided into two groups. One received enriched rice, while the other received regular rice. Now, you may be asking, what is an enriched rice and how do we make it? Let's explore how the enriched rice was produced. The enriched rice spare mix was prepared in the United States, omitting riboflavin to prevent grain discoloration. It aimed to enrich each pound of rice with 2 mg thiamine, 16 mg niacin, and 13 mg iron, following the US federal standards. Now, what is the result? The study showed that there were fewer cases of beriberi in the group that consumed the enriched rice. In summary, this was a significant step in the fight against beriberi. It brought hope to the Filipinos in overcoming this deadly disease and spurred the widespread enrichment of rice in many countries. In 1978, Dr. Juan Salcedo Jr. was recognized as a national scientist, an honor for his profound contributions. The legacy of Dr. Salcedo lives on in the hearts of every Filipino. <music>